impression on vocals. Let's do it. So we're digging into compression without getting too technical about it. If you think stuff like that sounds kind of cool, then, you know, hit that subscribe button for me and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. Ultra quick review. I'll put a bubble up here, the deeper dive into how to do this method, but we'll just review really quick. Step one, setting up the compressor ratio, whatever compressor you're using, all the way to the top. Attack, all the way fast. Release, all the way fast. Getting enough signal into the compressor to get lots of compression. You can see the needle moving there. Step two, we move the attack back, just listening to the edge of the sound. Step three, the release. We move the release until we hear the duration of the sound. With a lot of instruments, you want the compressor to recover before the next attack. With vocals, it's a bit more fluid. Step four, reduce the ratio. In this case, I'm just gonna jump straight to four to one. Step five, back off the input so you're getting a reasonable amount of compression. So now we've got our compressor adjusted, but let's take a deeper dive into vocals. So this is a classic compressor made by Waves. It's an emulation, really, really cool. We talked about adjusting the attack, but this is where you have to make some calls depending on the vibe. If you go for a slower attack, you'll tend to get a harder edge on the attack of the voice. And by the way, this is The Living. The song is called Two Trips Around the Sun. Uh, you can listen to it on all digital outlets. It's available now. If you move the attack faster, let's have a listen to this. Two trips around the sun. It took two trips around the sun. Notice how it's subtle, but that makes the vocal smoother because what's happening is the compressor is acting on the vocal as soon as it comes in and it's not allowing the transient to come through as much. If we slow this down. Two trips around the sun. It took two trips around the sun. It so what happens when we do that is the transient comes through so you get more of an edge on the vocal. That has a higher impact sound. Higher impact, don't read that as better, just read that as you got to decide on what you're going for. Now ballads or smoother songs, the right decision might be a really fast attack so you can make it sound more smooth. With the release, always going to sound a bit more aggressive if the compressor recovers faster so that it's there to let the transient back through and then clamp down on it. So again, if you want it a bit smoother, you would actually slow down the release. And on this compressor, the 1176 style compressor, don't forget a seven is faster and a one is slower. On this compressor, seven more is more fast. Two trips around the sun, it took two trips around the sun. It took two trips around. See how that sounds smoother? Okay, so that's that compressor. I like to have it on this setting. The difference between a bluey and a blacky, there's a different vibe to the compressor. I want to show you another option, and that is Slate's got this option. They've got lots of options. That's their blue face. That's the black one. And then they've got this that they, they brought in just a little while ago. So this one, you can't adjust the attack. This is a very smooth style of compressor, and this is actually what I used on this vocal. It sounds like this. Two trips around the sun. It took two trips around the sun. So I've got the release going quite quick, but the attack is happening. Actually, it's it's kind of slowish, but this compressor tends to really smooth out a vocal, so that's why I chose it because the vibe of this song, I felt that's what worked. Now this is another classic you're gonna see in studios and you'll hear it talked about a lot. Take that off, that just makes a noise like it's an old compressor plugged into AC and anyway, don't worry about that. So this, an opto compressor, is actually quite slow. Opto compressors have a certain characteristic of being very smooth, but it's very even. Let me work on this compressor a little bit. Two trips around the sun It took two trips around the sun It took two trips around the sun it took two trips around the sun and they have the effect of making the vocal feel like it comes more forward the engineers who designed it made the behavior of the compressor built in so you don't have to adjust the attack and the release i really like this on things that i like to sound smoother and bigger so that's something for you to consider i want to jump back in turn this back on and show you something that i did on this song this is a more advanced technique. It's called parallel compression. What is it? I've taken a send here. I've routed it to two auxiliaries that are next. 
I turn it all the way up and I put it on pre-fade so that if I adjust this fader, the amount of signal going into these compressors doesn't change, so the behavior doesn't change as I turn the volume up and down. I put them all together in a group, and this here is a VCA and controls all of them together. So what I've done, actually, is I've added a distressor, and what I'm trying to do here... Around the sun it took two so I like the smoothness of that, but I wanted a little bit more of the forwardness so what I did was I added this compression beside it. And the idea of parallel compression is generally that you would compress more, sometimes much, much more than what you did on the main channel. Then you kind of get the best of both worlds. If you over compress, the vocal tends to die. Anything will die in too much compression. The dynamic goes away. So when you do this and add a lot of compression and you blend it in, you still have the dynamic performance as the main one Blending this one in creates a more even performance and it helps with the closeness and the forwardness without giving up the dynamic. So here. Around the sun, it took two trips around the sun. It took without it. two trips around the sun. It took two trips around the sun. Something that is another trick which I didn't use on this song but I actually have it built into my template is the CLA. What I'll do with this is use a lot of compression on an 8 to 1, sometimes 4 to 1, 8 to 1 ratio sometimes and then I'll put a limiter after it. See I'm getting mad reduction and so this by itself sounds like really really beat but if I just blend it in around the sun it took two trips around the sun that's a super even compressed version. I can blend it underneath the main one and it creates a very, very forward, it's almost honky kind of a sound, but blended in just underneath the main vocal can really help, especially, let me turn on the effects. So I had these off. Two trips around the sun, it took two trips around the sun. So this is often really good if the vocal starts to sound a bit far away, to bring some of it back with the parallel compression makes it even out a little bit more without giving up the dynamic range and brings back that closeness. So in this case, I had quite a bit of effect on the vocal, but I was able to still have the presence um, by using the parallel compression. Two trips around the sun. It took two trips around the sun. It took two trips. I wouldn't normally use that much effect, but in this case, that was sort of the idea, the setting, the visual, the picture that we were going for. The slower the compression, the more edge you're going to get. Speed up the compression to make it smoother. Speed up the release to make the compression a bit more aggressive so it recovers all the way before the next attack. The compression will then accentuate the edge of the sound. So to get a more edgy sound, slower attack, faster release. To get a smoother sound, faster attack, slower release. If you think stuff like this is kind of cool, give me one of those things, but do it on the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. Questions or comments? Right now. Do it right now. Drop them. Right now. That was a little over the top. <laughs>